Well, tonight we are celebrating a great accomplishment by a man who dropped one of his dreams when life came up with various other plans. 80 year old or 80 years ago, a Lockport man decided to move on from his current plans to serve his country instead. But on the 4th of July, the now 100 year old will finally have his original dream come true. Two on your sides, Danielle Church has the story. Live to be 100. Can you hear her okay, Dad? And some things may not last. <laughs> Talk again. But Roy Kenyon's love of baseball hey! has always remained. All thanks to his older brother, Ralph. He wanted to pitch for the Yankees. So every day I was out catching them so he could pitch for the Yankees. Roy spent so much time trying to make his brother better that he got better. His high school baseball team won the Niagara Orleans championship two years in a row before he went off to play with Crawl Park in the summer of 1942. Right at the end of the season, that's when the Bisons went and offered him to come up for a tryout. And I said, oh, that's, I like it, but I'm going to join the Navy tomorrow. So I left for the Navy. A lifelong dream abandoned. All because Roy knew his number would soon be called. In 1945, he was on the front lines at the Battle of Iwo Jima. You don't regret it at all? Oh, no. Ever have chills go up your back? On the fifth day, the flag went up and they shot it down. Then it went up the second time. And all the ships around the island blew their horns. And to look at the chills. It was his first thrill, but this Independence Day at Salem Field. I'd say that the second thrill. Roy's next one. My second thrill. Becoming a professional baseball player. We will have a one day contract here. Be able to get his jersey with his name and number on the back and then be able to do the, the first pitch. Roy's loved ones will be in the stands. We're all going to be wearing the, the Roy 100 hats. Minus Ralph and his wife, Teresa, of 65 years, a nurse who once took care of him at Buff General. This one nurse would come and give me shots. Wouldn't hurt. This Independence Day to America, Roy Kenyon will forever be a hero. But in Buffalo, he'll be known as he's always wanted. He'll forever be a bison. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.